so today I was supposed to hike 14 miles. Um, stuff changed, plans changed. That's okay. Things happen. I did ended up doing two and a half hours of elevation training instead. So there is a mountain in Phoenix that I like to use for um, for elevation training. It's just go up and down, up and down. Um, it was good. It's starting to get warm. So I just finished about, I don't know, eight o'clock or so. I just left the park and it was 97 degrees. <laughs> so, and there were people getting there at eight o'clock to start hiking, which I think for me right now in July here in Arizona, 830 is about my limit. Um, you know, it's hot. I don't want to be caught out there. I am sitting in the sauna 30 minutes a day right now. I did not yesterday knowing that I was hiking today. I didn't want to dehydrate myself. So I didn't hike, or I'm sorry, I didn't do the sauna yesterday knowing that I was hiking today. So I will probably go sit in the sauna though this afternoon. I do need to do a back workout. Uh, no, sorry, not back. I need to do my shoulders and arms is what I need to do. So that was, I was supposed to do that yesterday, but just, you know, the husband gets home from work early and then he wants to go do, run all these errands and stuff and just whatever. So gym didn't happen yesterday, but I did hike six miles, but my urban hike, um, did that yesterday morning, got that done. And that felt really good. I finally feel like I am to the point where I have my good solid eight to 10 mile base back. So I was telling this to my friend as we were hiking this morning that I have really worked hard the last four months to get back to being able to hike or walk 10 miles and not be just completely done afterwards and not be super sore the next day. Like the recovery is there. I don't feel like I'm gonna fall over. I actually feel like I'm back to you sort of just being able to, if somebody wants to go hike 12 miles tomorrow, I can. I'm, I'm there. I'll probably be a little sore after 12, 14 miles. That was the plan today was 14 miles, but it's okay. We'll, we'll get that in some other time. I'll uh, readjust the plan. Um, so, but I do feel like I am right where I need to be. I'm at a point where I need to start increasing the mileage. I am still at seven miles. So I broke up my tibia and fibula completely in half and then I broke them both again down close to the ankle but where they broke completely in half the bone was it's called tenting where it's poking through the skin but it didn't puncture the skin and so the bone went through all that muscle there so now after about six or seven miles is when I really start to feel that spot I need to wear a uh, compression sleeve on my calves just because at seven or eight miles, it's that, that spot on my calf gets really sore. Like it's being worked. I don't think it's healed all the way yet. My ortho said that give it a year and a half for the bone to heal, but I don't think the spot where the bone just sort of ripped through my muscle, I don't think that's healed yet, but we're working with it. We're doing it. We're doing the things I actually, what's interesting is in yoga class, we do a lot of stuff on our tippy toes, which I'm very hesitant to do that simply because I do it. <laughs> But the lower half of my body is kind of a mess. I uh, have osteoarthritis in my second toe, the joint that holds the toe onto my foot. And so it's complete bone on bone from an old injury. And so as a result, those bones, they hit each other and that metatarsal breaks. It's broken several times. And so I'm always hesitant to do stuff on my tippy toes just because of that. I can feel the bone on bone. And, but I just do what I can in yoga class. It's interesting. We do a lot of stuff on tippy toes there. And that is really helping a ton with building up that calf strength again. I'm so wobbly when we do tippy toe stuff, but you know, I'm able to stand on my tippy toes now to get stuff out of the kitchen. I'm tall, I'm 5'10", but I still stand on my tippy to toes to get stuff up the top shelf. So, um, so yeah, so we did the elevation training today Two, it's just two and a half hours almost three hours or so and so it was good got done before it got super hot we did get into some heat it's okay we're trying to get some heat training in um, I'm driving home now I'm practicing this video on 
the highway in because I want to see how this sounds. I'm really hoping this turns out and that I can actually use this video, but if not, it's okay. And I actually took the, uh, this camera has a first person view, like thing that you can put on your chest. So I did take some footage. If it turns out, I'll include it in your, uh, I'm not certain how well it turned out simply because there, first of all, there was a lot of people on that particular mountain this morning. Second of all, you can really see how slow I am and how much I get past. <laughs> um, but whatever, it is what it is. I am slow, but I get there. I get it done. There's no race. There's no finish line. There's no medal at the end. We just do any of these things. So anyways, I'll put that. I am then, so today, like I said, I need to go to the gym. I need to do shoulders and arms. And then I need to do 30 minutes in the sauna and then I'll do 15 minutes in the chair again. I love that chair massage thing. I don't, like I said, I don't know if it works, but whatever. It feels good. I'm going to do it. So that's the training vlog reflection for today. Uh, I feel really good. I feel really solid. I ate a uh, piece of bread with some peanut butter on this. Justin's. I would say Justin and his peanut butter, man. Like, I don't even know. Stuff's like crack. But it's Justin. I use Justin's peanut butter. I like the almond butter, too. It's a little more sweeter. Um, the sprouts by my house did not have the almond butter, but they did have peanut butter infused with honey. So I thought, let's try that. So I'm trying that. It's really good. So I have Ezekiel bread, the uh, cinnamon raisin Ezekiel bread with a tablespoon of the... Justin's peanut butter. I do measure it just because I can go way overboard on peanut butter, like most of us. So I do measure that. So I had that before the hike this morning. And now I'm going to go home and have a protein shake. I think that the thing that I have found for myself after a tough workout, whether it is a weight workout, whether it's uh, doing a hike, whatever it might be, step, step mill, anything where like, I feel like I just kind of demolished my body. Having a protein shake after working out is like the best thing for me for recovery. It's a full, complete protein. So it's got the full amino acids. It's got all the stuff. And then what I like about it is that I don't have to, especially after hiking and I drank a ton of water, I don't have to, you know, eat and then like drink more water to help swallow my food and stuff. So, I mean, but I have to drink the water with the protein shake, but it's just, it's just the one thing. So whatever. But anyways, I'm gonna have a protein shake. And then maybe a cup of coffee. I don't know. All right. So we're getting off the highway here. Like I said, I just wanted to test this out. If this works, I'll use the video. If not, oh well. Okay, bye.